Right, this uh, bronze relief up here, uh, give us a few details about it, uh, Carrie. So yes, this was put together by the artist James McKendry in the late 60s, early 70s. The top panel talks all about the American presence here. So starting from the left, you have the arrival of the Americans. They're trained here and set up bases. Where they're trained, you can see they're carrying the flag, the stars and stripes. And if you count the stars, there's the correct number of stars for the United States at that time, because obviously Hawaii wasn't an official state oh, until right. the end of the war. Right. Um, and then you have more training. We have one of the tanks. We haven't been able to work out what kind of a tank it is. I know it has a Sherman turret at the top. Looks so like a ferret. It's like a British scout car. But, yeah, uh -huh. but uh, I wonder why it's doing, what it's yeah. doing with the Americans. Well, they probably had something similar. Yeah. Um, and here towards the end, you can see the Americans leaving in 44 right. for D-Day. Um, and of course, you know, Eisenhower came and visited the troops before they departed. And um, the bottom part of the relief. Yes, so this talks all about industry and agriculture during the war years. So you have people out in the fields, the Dig for Victory campaign. Oh, yes, yes, own. yes. But then you also the land guards and all of that. Exactly, yes. But right. then you also have a contrasted against people who are working in more industrial built up areas. Like yes. the mill. Yes. You have a mill here with a barrage balloon floating over the top of it, if you can see that. Looks like a, a big fish. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Um, and then leading on to this, you have the shipyards um, and the docks here, Harlington Wolf. Which were intrinsic to the war effort too. Oh yes, of course. Um, and then back into some of your more industrial um, ammunition, perhaps factories. Right. And there, there's a, a tower. It is a tower. And I actually haven't been able to work out what kind of tower that is or, or where it's based. But it's, not, it's not Scrabble, no? It looks similar, but I don't know. It could be Antrim Tower. It could be.